Does Chang Tianyo know about this? He's the eldest of the grandchildren. What do you think? I hope your family can keep your promise to look after my brother well. I give you my word. And also, I won't go to the US. But don't you worry. I'll leave this place. I appreciate it. <laughs> this can't continue anymore. Jen So must go to France, and I want him to go right now. What is it? Do you disagree with me? Grandpa, I'm not against him going to France, but I wish Zheng Sheng can go too. Zheng Sheng? Why does she have to go? Well, Grandpa, since Zheng Sheng allowed Liang Sheng to return to his family, maybe there's no need to separate them again. To do so would be cruel. You're overthinking things again. Jin Su is a member of our family. There's no need for the Zhengs to meddle with our affairs. Listen, he has lost his memory. He doesn't even remember who Zheng Sheng is. So why bother mentioning her? How could that be cruel? If we can get him cured, Zheng Sheng will get our brother back. But if not, he should be home. Jin Su must be with his family where he belongs. Grandpa. You always tell me I'm a heartless man, but in this matter, you're the one who's being unreasonable. How dare you talk to me that way? Have you no respect at all? Don't I deserve it anymore? My brother. Zhang Sheng, you are really good. Because of you, my grandfather and my brother are arguing. As long as you're around, bad things are bound to happen. So from now on, stay away from my family. I asked you where my brother is. He's on his way to France for treatment. How come no one informed me? I agreed to let him go back. To return to his family. Why didn't you let me see him one last time? But even if we told you, it wouldn't have made a difference. I never got a chance to say goodbye to him. Getting his treatment soon will give him a chance to survive. family promised to get him the best treatment that will depend on how you behave 
As I've told you earlier, stay as far as possible from my whole family. If you dare approach any one of us, your dear brother, even you, will never have a day of peace again. I do believe that's clear enough. Brother Shaowu, I'm leaving. Take good care of yourself, and don't worry about me. I'll return once I get homesick. If you miss me, just look up at the stars. As long as they sparkle, the little Zhangsheng from Wei Jiaping is smiling at you. Don't be sad because you miss Shaojo. When the right time comes, I'm sure she'll come back. And so will I. Zhang Shang. Ma, I'm sorry. You told us, no matter how big the problem is, my brother and I should put our heads together, clench our fists and face it. But right now, my brother is not well. And there's nothing I can do to protect him. My only choice is to stay away. Ma, are you grieving because of this? Ma, is it all my fault? you're here. Papa? Are you doing well? Since I was little, I've been jealous of my brother. I used to think, if you could only look at me a bit more, speak with me a little longer, it would be enough for me to be happy the whole day. But now I realize, I should have made the most of every moment I had with you, Papa. If I could turn back time, I'd tell you every day how much I love you and cherish every moment we had. died of a limb infection, and shortly after, my mother followed. Mama said Papa kept calling my name before he died. He kept saying the person he has wronged the most in his life was me. Not once have I called him Papa. Now that he's gone, I realize how much I miss him.
Zhang Shang, have some braised pork. Brother, thanks. Here, have some. Brother, let's eat together. I'm not hungry. You can have it. Brother, why hasn't the ginger flower blossomed yet? Because it knows a secret it could never say. A very sad secret. And the sadness spread. That's why it can never blossom again. phone's off. I can't find her anywhere. Aren't you her best friend? Surely you know where she is, right? I'm sorry, but I couldn't reach her either. I've got very important things to tell her. But I really don't know where she is, all right? The thing is, there's been some misunderstanding. I just want to explain things clearly to her. What's done is done already. You got what you wanted, right? Zhang Sheng agreed to let Liang Sheng go to France. Now, isn't this good enough? Your family has brought her enough pain already. So, Cheng Tianyo, can you please just leave her alone? It was not my intention to separate the siblings, never. I just wanted her to go to France with Liang Shang. Believe me, it's the truth. Well, if that's the case, then I'm going to tell you what I know. Go on. Zhang Shang left the city, but I honestly don't know where she went. As soon as I hear from her, I'll let you know immediately. I do hope you weren't lying. Brother, all the bits and pieces of our childhood have disappeared from your memory. You've forgotten them, so I must remember them for you. No matter how hard this is for me, even if it means I won't see you again, as long as you get to live the life you deserve, I will clench my fists and survive. Brother, I don't want you to see my tears. As I hold them back, I will pray for you. I hope you will always be happy. Brother, if one day we bump into each other, will you remember me? Your little sister? Your Changsheng?
Zhang Tianyu, I think they better tell you this. Zhang Shang is taking the 415 train to leave the city. Please drive faster. Do, do you still remember me? You saved my life. In the alley that day. I even called you to say you lost my cell phone. I asked you to give it back. Funny story, actually. It was just a lousy excuse I made up to call you. The truth is, it has always been with me. I didn't lose it. I was just missing you. That's why I did so many odd things back then. I didn't lose my phone. But it seems I've lost you instead. Years have passed, and your Zhang Sheng is still here. No matter what life throws at me, no matter how hard it gets, I will always be like the ginger in the pot, always bearing the hope of blossoming. Brother, I miss you. Are you doing well in Paris? I dare not disturb your life. An opportunity brought me to Paris as well. I've been wanting to look for you, but I just shake off the idea. If I tell you how I truly feel, I'm afraid I'll never be the same. Actually, as long as you're living well, that's good enough for me. You will always be in my heart.
I'm looking forward to our business collaboration. Mm. Thank you. Merci. Thank you. The pleasure is ours. Well then, shall we? Jian Su. After signing that contract with Dylan, our Chateau's red wine is now officially being sold and distributed in 30 countries all over the world. <laughs> Jian Su, you are indeed a business genius. In business <laughs> management, superficial knowledge is all I have. And whatever I have achieved today, I have to say it's because of your guidance. Invincible is a man of modesty. You're able to take the initiative to strike. Your methods are steady and precise, yet you refuse to take the credit. Even a veteran businessman who has been in the industry for decades may not have your level of cultivation. Thank you, President Joe. Right now, you see, two-thirds of the global market consumption of red wine is here in Europe. But with mm. the increasing sales figures in other regions, I'm estimating that there will be an 8% drop from 68 to 60% by next year alone. Mm. I think it's time to enter the Chinese wine market. <laughs> now the student surpasses the teacher, it seems. I have nothing more to teach you. Your blood pressure is a bit high. Have you been under a lot of stress lately? Anyway, your regular checkup is on the 28th of the month. Okay, I'll be there. <laughs> the condition of your health has been good recently, but you must pay attention. Cut down on coffee and no alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot this is part of your job, so keep it to a minimum. You must always keep your emotions stable, and a good frame of mind is key. Mm -hmm. I got it, Miss Yao. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, it's nothing. Just an itchy throat. Oh, uh, Miss Yao, do you have a thermometer? I do. <laughs> Let me check your temperature. Thirty-seven point three degrees. You have a slight fever. Drink more water and get more rest, okay? Mm. And when it gets worse, put a cold compress on your forehead to lower your temperature. If you still feel uncomfortable, make sure to go to a hospital to see a doctor. I will. Thanks a lot. Okay, I will leave you to talk. Thanks, Miss Yao. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks again. If you're not feeling well, you should go. I've been staying up late to finish projects for a graduation, so I'm a bit tired. Don't pressure yourself too much. I'll call Mr. Chen to take you home now, okay? All right. The expansion and integration of Shufeng Cinemas, overview and projection of the film market, the community plan, commercial and residential estates, and Warm Winter Society volunteers exceeded 20,000. <sighs> this quarter is just impeccable. We've exceeded industry standards. Tianyo, can you imagine? In just four years, we did it. The profitability ratio of this company is at an all-time high, ahead of schedule, beyond projections. And this is just the beginning. This is what I admire about you the most. You never indulge in short-term achievements. The past four years, you haven't rested much. You never took a day off nor a holiday for yourself. It really boosted our morale. We are still in the initial stages. Tangible results will only be achieved in the next decade or two. You always look ahead, always a step further than the rest. Don't worry, Tianyu. As long as you have a vision for our company, we will go all out to fulfill it. Hey, Wei Yang. I haven't heard from you for days. What have you been doing? I've been rushing my graduation project. <laughs> So what do you want to do after graduating? I want to stay here in France. It's the art capital of the world. And all world-class jewelry are designed there. If you are really interested, then you'll have my full support. But if you're only doing this for Liangsheng, well, then I advise you to come home. Without Jiangsheng interrupting? 
Liangsheng and I get along very well. What happens when he gets his memory back? He'd be in love with me. Long before that ever happens. Mr. Chung? Miss Wei Young is here to see you. Liang Cheng? Guess what I brought for you today? <laughs> I baked you some madeleines. Wanna take a break? <laughs> here, have a bite. It's my first time to make French pastry. How is it? Hey, tell me. It's quite good. A madeleine cake is best paired with a dessert wine. Actually, a dessert wine goes well with ingredients with thick texture, such as warm foie gras. Warm foie gras has more than 90% fat. The sugar in the wine and the fat of the foie gras blended together will create an amazingly soft and smooth texture and a very silky taste. You are still the same as you were in college. You are very serious when it comes to your research. <laughs> By the way, take a look. This is a butterfly brooch I've designed myself. Is it pretty? It's beautiful. I think your future will be bright in the field of jewelry design. <laughs> the inspiration behind this butterfly is actually you. Hmm? Isn't it obvious? You're the source of inspiration for all my designs. Mr. Chung wants to know if there's any progress in Chen Su's condition. Liang Sheng is getting better. He's more stable now. Why do you still call him Liang Sheng? His name is Cheng Tian Su, all right? When he was still in the hospital, everybody called him Liang Sheng. Since he's used to the name, that's what we call him. <sighs> Did he remember anything recently? He didn't. Tell President Chung not to worry too much. I'll tell him that. Remember, Mr. Chung said don't say, don't ask, don't mention anything. That may agitate him, okay? Yes, of course. Right now, Liang Sheng's uh, mental state is stable. Regarding memory recovery, he's not forcing it. There are some things that are better left forgotten. It's best for him to live a peaceful life, as it is now, okay? Of course. Goodbye. Oh, I have good news. Dylan says our wine is well received by the market. It's earning the following of some high-end consumers. <laughs> so how's your health lately? Farewell, actually. Thank you for your concern, sir. Good. So is Lu and just still giving you treatment? I haven't seen Dr. Lu for some time. But I heard that he's returned to China. Returned to China? He didn't even bother telling me. My own son thinks nothing of me. He has outstanding medical skills. He has contributed a lot to my recovery. Uh. I'm glad that he has helped you. That's good. You know, my son and I... <laughs> Just forget it. <sighs> What's wrong, President Zhou? My gout's acting up. I'm meeting the Shanghai Wine Association, but now... I'm not sure if I can go. Well, I can go. Isn't your grandfather against... you leaving France? Doesn't matter. My condition is very stable now. Also, it's just a business trip. It's not a big deal. Fine, then. I'll let you go. But you must do me a favor. <laughs> Hello? Liang Sheng, what are you doing? Sorting out my stuff. I went to a vintage flea market with my friends today. Guess what I found? What did you find? Just guess. I have no idea. A mirror studded with jewelry. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorting out some stuff. I'm busy right now. Okay. Talk to you later then. Mm. Good night. Uncle Chen? Yes? There are two documents here. Mail one of them and bring the other one with us tomorrow on the plane. Okay. Are you going to stay in a hotel or at home this time? In a hotel. Very well. Today I 
I'd like to have an interview with you about the Warm Winter Society volunteers. No problem. Since you know, many entrepreneurs abroad usually do charity work out of their own experiences or concerns about the life around them. Now, what's the original intention for devoting yourself to philanthropy? I founded the Warm Winter Society in college with a couple of good friends then. While giving a helping hand to those in need, we also had fond memories spending time with friends. We came to realize that giving makes one happier than receiving. Mm -hmm. So eventually we came up with the idea of elevating campus charity to a national level. Oh. Now, the Warm Winter Society may appear as a group of people helping other people who are in need. That's just the tip of it. Mm -hmm. Because in reality, it has a subtle influence on in people by building trust and sharing warmth among one another. Now that is our true intention. Oh, so you want to rely on people to bring its value and significance to more people everywhere. Yes. This is not an easy job indeed. Since you've been persistent with your efforts for many years, has there ever been a certain someone whom you draw your strength and inspiration from? Yes. A seemingly ordinary girl has influenced me. She's made me more determined in this cause. She showed me how beautiful a kind and loving soul truly is. Uh, I hope that through this social charity, I can return the heart of goodwill in place. By choosing the right thing and being persistent, we become better. I'm sure we can make the world a better place to live in. President Chung, you're a man of vision indeed. Other than that, I heard that you are dedicated to the training of volunteers wholeheartedly, which leads me to think it takes not only enthusiasm to help others, but also professional know-how gained from learning. Yes, that's right. The Warm Winter Society gives many sessions of volunteer training each year. We reinforce the volunteer spirit by way of self-growth and sharing of experiences. We believe that only with a strong mind can one have the power to give. Only with wisdom can one help the weak in a way that maintains their dignity. Mm. So in the course of public welfare, there's no distinction of wealth, class, and occupation. You are rich as long as you give. All right. I think I've gotten everything I wanted today. Okay. Thanks, President Chong. Let me have a look. Good. I'll meet you outside in a minute. Thank you. Jilin, how is everything going with Changsheng? She's doing well. So the girl who influenced you deeply is also my friend. I'll see you out. Okay. Thank you, sir. I think you've changed a lot. <laughs> Today is your birthday. We haven't celebrated it for several years. You didn't come back to have the birthday cake I ordered last year. Maybe because you didn't like it. So I ordered from another bakery this year. I don't know where you are now which corner of the world you are in. If there is any time difference, maybe you haven't celebrated yet or done it already. I will continue to follow up on the development of our commercial and residential real estate. Its current progress is quite impressive. For the press conference of the Chengyun Group and joining the stock market, we've already sent a congratulatory bouquet. That's about it for the last two days. How's Liang Cheng? Well, there's no change in his condition. How's his health? Um, his blood pressure is a bit unstable this week, but he's fine. Mm. By the way, I have some good news for you. Liang Sheng and Mr. Zhou are doing very well in their chateau business. Their wine is currently being sold in 30 countries worldwide. That's good. Although Grandpa doesn't like Zhou Mu, he knows his way when it comes to business. 
These past years, Liangshan learned and improved quickly. It's remarkable. He handles projects independently now. But the past four years, your grandfather kept hindering everyone from disturbing the life of Liangsheng. Isn't that being just way overly protective? Liangsheng was saved from the jaws of death. So it's not excessive for Grandpa to protect his grandson. It's just that if someday, if Liangsheng suddenly remembers, I wish I can find Zhangsheng. And let the two of them reunite. Wouldn't that be a glorious ending? Congratulations. This is for you. Thank you so much, brother. What is this? You've graduated. Time to enter society. I hope you can be like me and go abroad to cultivate Widen your horizon. Do you want me to leave? Don't take it that way. I'd go with you if I wasn't working. But the business needs my attention. Look, this is just a suggestion. The decision is yours. It's all up to you. You have to stand on your own for the journey ahead. <laughs> of course. I understand. But honestly, I still need some time to think about what I really want to do in the future. Okay. I believe in you. To see you grow into the man you are makes me a proud brother. Thank you, brother. someone today and I found I had misunderstood him before I agree when getting to know someone you must not harbor prejudice or only look at the surface for an objective and impartial view President, here's the plan for the event this fall. Please check it later. Mm, okay. Here's a toast to you. Congratulations on your graduation. Thank you. Well, I've already graduated, but the relationship between you and my brother is still stuck in limbo. <laughs> Your brother only has his career in mind. But that's exactly where you come in. You can remind him that there's more to life than just work. You're attracted to each other. He can tell you anything and you always understand. I really can't think of anyone else more suitable. <laughs> but if he doesn't mention it, you won't say it. You two will just continue to waste time, but you are willing, right? Well, if something's bound to happen, it will happen. But counting the days since my brother got back, it's been more than four years. I'm not saying that you need to rush into anything. But listen, you should never hesitate when the time is right. You should go and make a move. Tianyu draws a distinct line between work and relationships. If he finds out that I'm pulling some strings at work, we probably won't even be friends later on. <sighs> But you also read his interview last time. The person who influenced me deeply is a girl. And I'm telling you, that girl is you. Everyone knows how hard you've worked to build a career with him. You can be a life partner and a business partner, all rolled up in one, Yangshin. No one would ask for anything else from you. <laughs> That's just an interview with an eye-catching headline. It doesn't show how he really is. Besides, I don't want to presume. My brother made it very clear, as clear as the light of day. 
Now is your chance to do your part. I feel that the two of you have reached that stage to make up for the regrets in your relationship before. There's an opportunity in front of you. <laughs> Here. Why don't you try this? <laughs> Thanks. Hmm. I propose a toast. I wish you and my brother a wonderful future together. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> How much I missed you. My friend, little Zheng Sheng from Wei Jiaping. Who are you calling little? How old am I now? <laughs> <laughs> you are prettier than before. You're bluffing. I look the same as before. It's not the same. You're more mature now. <laughs> if your brother saw you, who knows how happy and proud he would be. <laughs> I swear to you, the trio of the little town of Wei Jiaping will get together one day. I'm sure of that. <laughs> Let's go. Jin Young is waiting for us at the restaurant right now. Okay. We better hurry. Come. Three of us came to the city. Once we're in the city, we lost our hometown. Sung 